I used to, you know, when I was turning 40, it was like, oh my God, I'm turning 40. And it was like this big deal. And Australian singer and actress Olivia Newton-John has just passed away peacefully at her California ranch at the age of 73. Back in 2019, a year after she revealed she was diagnosed with stage four cancer, Olivia began to sell off most of her real estate and use that to invest into her wellness center and foundation. Despite listing her main home in California for $5.4 million, she ultimately decided to spend her final days living here with her husband. She also put her Australian farm that spanned 189 acres up for sale, and prior to that, she also had owned a waterfront abode in Florida. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Olivia Newton-John was a British-Australian singer and actress best known for playing Sandy in the hit 1978 musical film Grease alongside John Travolta. Her voice and wholesome beauty made Olivia one of the biggest stars in the 70s, and she also won four Grammy Awards over her career. Her husband, John Easterling, announced her passing in an online statement on Monday, August 8, 2022, writing, Dame Olivia Newton-John, 73, passed away peacefully at her ranch in Southern California this morning, surrounded by family and friends. And continued, Olivia has been a symbol of triumphs and hope for over 30 years, sharing her journey with breast cancer. Olivia had shared in late 2018 she was treating cancer at the base of her spine, which was her third cancer diagnosis, following long battles with breast cancer in the early 90s and in 2017. Despite wanting to sell her main residence, a stunning ranch in California, Olivia would ultimately spend her final days in this beautiful home surrounded by her loved ones. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at the homes of the late Olivia Newton-John. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. In 2019, when Olivia Newton-John was diagnosed with stage four cancer, she began to sell off her real estate portfolio to invest more money into her foundation and wellness center for cancer wellness and research. At the time, she even listed her California horse ranch she lived in for four years for $5.4 million before taking it off the market and deciding to spend the remainder of her life there. She and her husband originally purchased the 12-acre property in the Santa Ynez Valley of Santa to Barbara, California for $4.68 million in 2015. At the end of 2021, after deciding not to sell, Olivia transferred full ownership of the estate to her husband, John, according to records. A source close to Olivia revealed that she was in a lot of pain, but she was a fighter. The place was her heaven on earth, and it gave her many calming moments in her final days. The peaceful looking home sat along the Santa Ynez River with a main residence spanning 4,450 two square feet of space, as well as a spacious guest house on the property. Of course, as you might expect from a horse ranch, there were all the necessary facilities like a barn and horse stables too. Olivia's estate was newly built in 2008 and offered large open plan living spaces with an airy feel that were accented with plenty of rich wood, skylights in the massive great room, and other features like a sunroom. The home boasted a total of four bedrooms and five baths, while the guest house had an extra two bedrooms and bath. So it was definitely spacious, but before Olivia decided she was gonna stay here for her final days, the home was feeling a bit too big for her and her husband. The couple originally wanted to sell it so they could downsize to a cozier property. Either way, this house was so beautiful, so it was likely a comfortable place for her to live. Interiors here had a mix of sleek and contemporary design accents mixed with a lot of wood, creating a western ranch vibe that suited the home. The great room was no doubt the central space of the main residence as it boasted a towering cathedral ceiling decked out in wood as well as neutral colored furnishings with a lot of warm brown leather. This space blended with the dining room and gourmet kitchen, making it ideal for entertaining and gathering with loved ones. Over in the eating kitchen, there was a long island with two levels designated for snacking or eating and there's also a ton of windows lighting up the sunny space. Her kitchen further boasted stainless steel 
appliances and a white farmhouse sink. In the past, Olivia also had given fans a peek at how she decorated her ranch home, including the piano, which was painted a bright blue and doubled as a table for some glass vases. She also had a huge amethyst crystal behind her, which no doubt brought many good vibes. In Olivia's master suite, there was a clean and modern design as well as enough space for a private sitting area and nearby a balcony and walk-in closet. The attached on suite was spa-like with aqua blue pops of color, a glass shower, and standalone tub. The guest house on the property looked like a small family home all its own with its two bedrooms, bathroom, and large living area. Also on the sprawling property aside from the barn, stables, and riding arena, there were rolling pastures for the horses too. When it came to entertaining the humans, there was an outdoor kitchen near the gorgeous modern swimming pool, and there were also covered and uncovered terraces to dine outside as well. While her California ranch was where Olivia decided to spend her last moments, let's not forget she's an Australia native and had a property down under. In 2019, she put her 189 acre farm here on the market, which was located in the town of Dalwood in New South Wales. Olivia had owned this property for decades, purchasing the land way back in the 1980s and rebuilding the entire home in the early 2000s. After only a month on the market, the estate sold for $4.6 million. Olivia's Australian compound was made up of a total of eight lots, while the main abode was built in a French country style, offering a terracotta colored exterior and rustic accents inside. The actress and singer reportedly bought the property after she made it big in the 1978 film Grease and built it up over the years. The property itself was very scenic, with rolling hills, trees all over, and a ton of privacy as it was in a more remote area as well, about 30 miles from the popular beach town of Byron Bay. The home looked like an aged farmhouse, but had the modern updates inside which you'd need, including air conditioning, of course. The main house on the property boasted three bedrooms and two baths, while there was also a detached guest house with one bed and one bath. Some highlights of the interior design were the pine floorboards, stone arches, rustic ceiling beams, and the front foyer that was detailed with pebbles and shells from local beaches. Olivia's spacious living room here had a huge stone fireplace with a wood burning stove insert, while there was also a floor to ceiling arched window and plush furnishings too. Nearby, the farmhouse style kitchen was fitted with some cozy wooden cabinets along with appliances like an upscale stainless steel range, as well as a walk in pantry. The master bedroom had its very own private patio overlooking the property, as well as an ensuite with large clawfoot tub and double vanities. Over in the guest house, aside from the sleeping quarters, there was a living room with banquette seating and its own kitchenette. Olivia's Australian getaway had grounds outside that rivaled the home's interiors, or maybe even the focal point altogether. Not only were there plenty of wraparound terraces, including some stone and some covered porches, there were also bonuses like a tennis court and meditation pond. Even better, the surrounding landscape was full of stunning nature, with a creek, two dams, woods, and its own small rainforest with a natural waterfall. Considering it bordered the Victoria Park Nature Reserve, a national park, it was very secluded. Before we wrap up this house tour, California and Australia weren't the only places Miss Newton John had owned homes. In fact, around 2015, she sold a home on Jupiter Island, Florida, which had quite a tragic situation occur that likely made it harder for her to sell the place. This home was built in 2007 and offered 6,300 square feet of space with four beds and four baths throughout. There were interior spaces like a massive great room with high white beam ceilings overhead, a living room with fireplace, and a coastal style kitchen to blend right in with its sunny surroundings. There was also the same rustic wood style as the kitchen in the separate media room and the other hangout space that was dedicated to a wet bar. Not to mention the stunning property was right on the water and also offered its own swimming pool and many lush tropical plants outside. So why did Olivia have so much trouble offloading her Jupiter Island home? Well, a man actually walked into the home on a random day while the couple wasn't there, shot himself and died. 
He didn't know Olivia or her husband, but he was reportedly a contractor working on the house. Now, for a home shrouded in a tragedy like that, it makes sense that it would have trouble finding a buyer. Olivia even held an exorcist on the home, which she bought in 2009 for $4.1 million after this happened. While it was rumored Rosie O'Donnell was going to buy the house, that never went down. But it was finally sold for $5 million. Considering Olivia Newton-John had her California ranch and her Australian farm to fall back on, she definitely had no reason to keep that house. While Olivia's passing is no doubt sad news, it's nice to remember the actress and singer and see the properties where she spent her final years. Well, that's gonna conclude this house tour. After looking at her homes, what did you think? Be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as who we should feature next on here. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.